African Council of Churches planned for this particular weekend? Are we now going live? Yes, yes, Bishop, we are live. Oh, okay, sorry. What, what has the South African, uh, churches, uh, church, uh, South African Council of Churches uh, planned for this particular Easter weekend? Was there anything that the Council of Churches has planned? No, I'm not aware of any specific thing that has been um, organized, but the Council, of course, is made of various churches, and therefore today is a very special day of worship. And so most denominations who are members of the Council will be holding their three-hour uh, services. Now, now, let's talk about the Easter weekend for, Christian, uh, for Christians, Bishop. What does it mean to Christians? Easter for Christians means uh, a victorious um, celebration of Christ as King and Lord of life. It really spells for Christians new beginnings uh, Jesus died so that we may have life in him and so as Christians we are being remodeled, reshaped, recreated uh, so that we can be new beings, people who have died from sin and are now alive in him who is the Lord of life. A number of people are saying that the Easter weekend has become very commercialized. Has the commercialization of the Easter season affected the religion to a certain extent? And if so, how? Certainly so. Uh, business has overtaken the real meaning of Easter. Its commercialization undermines the values of the kingdom, the gospel values such as humility, obedience, uh, servanthood, all of which are rooted uh, in love. The problem is that capital is more interested in profit making and so life has become defined by what we possess rather than who we are and whose we are and what we are about in life. So many people today are caught up in isms, capitalism and materialism, for instance, have become a, a defining component of life. And why has that been the case, you think, Bishop? Because uh, business is interested in maximizing profit. And people have been socialized to thinking that what we possess is important in defining who we are. And so we have missed the values that the gospel um, teaches us to leave them out in our lives. Now, how should Christians observe this holy weekend? Good Friday, for instance, is a, a prelude to Easter. It sets a stage for Christ's victorious uh, conquering of the powers and principalities of darkness. He humbles himself, submitting to death, and so we also should be submitting ourselves to him so that we can learn how to be fully human people created in the image of God. And how do we leave the values that Jesus has taught us such as love and caring. So it's a time for prayer. It's a time for thanksgiving. It's time for celebrating the gift of life and what Jesus has done for us. Now, over the last couple of months, and uh, we, we've seen a, a, a number of, uh, of cases, Satan, uh, Satanism cases and Satan, uh, sat, sat, Satanic rituals taking place, and uh, some of them made some headlines. With regards to Satanism, what is the role of the church in curbing this? Well, if we look at the Gospels, scriptures teach us that uh, Jesus fought against Satanism. He rebuked Satan. He expelled him and told him to get away from him. And those who were possessed by demons were freed and given a new lease of life. 
So our duty as Christians and Christian churches is to fight against evil and Satan as the agent of darkness. We need to be at war with him. I think the problem we have is that we fear to name the beast by its name. Mm -hmm. We always give it nice, uh, attractive names, and so it becomes fashionable to seek friendship with the devil. Our responsibility is to ensure that our children are taught the gospel values, to know who Jesus is in their lives and what he has done and continues to do. He has conquered sin and death, and it is still possible today through the church's ministry to free people from the powers of darkness. And finally, Bishop, your message to all Christians out there today. My message to the Christians in our country is that we should focus our mind and seek to do the will of God by reaching out to each other and be servants. And as we approach the elections on the 7th of May, let us go out there in our numbers and register what we would like to have as a nation. I think we must vote against corruption, cronism, and all those things that undermine human values and uphold that which promotes freedom in our country. Bishop uh, Joe Sioka, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for having me. That was Bishop Joe Sioka from the South African Council of Churches speaking to us from our Pretoria studios about the Easter weekend.